Hello and welcome once again to vehicle maintenance and repairs.com. Gary Della Cruz, your host and mechanic. Um, I put together a little video for you, uh, you know, to show you how to replace a cam belt or timing belt and a tensioner on a little um, a Chevy Utility 1.4. Um, you know, um, some of the vehicles are similar, you know, you have to line marks up and then you've got to put the, 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 the cam belt on and then you've got to adjust it properly. It's the same with the Chev, it's basic and very simple. This engine is non-interference, which means that it's highly unlikely you're going to be in the valve uh, if the cam belt breaks or if you put the cam belt on wrong. Okay, but just follow the instructions, um, enjoy the video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Those of you that haven't subscribed to my channel yet, um, I, I, I ask you to subscribe so that it, uh, I can grow the channel and bring more to you um, in the future. Okay, up until my next video, drive safely. Thank you very much. Gary, cheers. Okay, we have a Chevy Utility Bucky. It's a 1400. We're doing a service on it. And we're also replacing the cam belt. So I just want to sort of show you how to time uh, the gearing before you put the cam belt on. Okay, I'll go to the bottom first. As you can see down at the bottom, we have an arrow on the gear, and that arrow would face opposite this cleft here. Okay, you can see a little a little cleft in the bottom of the engine. There. There's a cleft and there's an arrow. So those two got a line up, that's on your crankshaft, okay. And then coming to the top, you'll see on the cam gear, you will see a groove, a, a, a notch carved out in your top cover. And then you will see a little mark indented on the camshaft. Okay, so you put those two opposite each other and your engine is basically timed, okay. Right, so here's our new uh, cam belt and cam belt tensioner I will just uh, take that out of the box okay they give you a nice little sticker over there which you can put in the mileage and just stick it on the inside of the door under the bonnet so that you have a record of when the cam belt was replaced um, here we are with the tensioner now the tensioner very importantly I will show you something that you have to watch out for on these vehicles um, we just open up the tensioner, take it out of the packaging, they give you a new bolt with it so you can put a little bit of Loctite on it just to give it that extra, that extra bit. Okay, so if you look at the tensioner itself here, you will see this part that is bent up 90 degrees. Okay, you've got to make sure that that goes, there is a little part on the, on the engine where this goes into. You got to make sure that that goes into so that the tensioner doesn't the body of the tensioner doesn't move around i'll show you how to do that now all right so the special lock bolt the the the, the hold down bolt for the for the timing belt tensioner is basically a t40 torx socket okay a male torx socket and that fits into the bolt there to tighten it up and to secure the the tensioner in place so if you look on the engine here you'll see there's a little indent over there. Now that indent, you have to have your, um, that L-shaped unit goes into the indent, like that, okay? And that will basically lock it into position, okay? So that it won't slide around. So we have adjustment for the tension. As you can see, as you turn it, there's an eccentric lobe Okay, that will either tighten or loosen the belt. So you put it at a point where the belt will be at its loose, at its loose most point. The anchor bolt would be slightly loose, loosened off, or you wouldn't tighten that yet until the belt is set properly. Okay, so now I'm going to just feed the belt in and then I'll show you how to do the adjustment on the belt. So we've got the belt on. Okay, got a belt onto the cam. You'll see there's quite a bit of play over there. So now I'm going to show you how to adjust um, you know how to adjust the tension on the belt with a with a tensioner. Okay, just to recap again, you make hundred percent sure that your little L that, that that ninety degree bent lip is inside the indent. Okay, so that the back side of the body doesn't turn. When you when you turn the eccentric lobe to take up the the play on the belt. Okay, you can see the movement on the belt over there as we as we tighten it up okay and the tension goes 
and then of course the pointer as I explained earlier on the on the tensioner the pointer would now be in position um, so now what we do is we will tighten the lock bolt okay to to to, to lock the adjuster adjuster into into position so I am turning the engine As I said, give it a turn it about uh, 360 degrees. You can see the engine's turning. We, we're following the pointer there. Okay. Um, so, Sip, you see where the pointer is? Just get it opposite the notch, that pointer. Okay. Opposite that notch. Okay. And that will complete our 360 degree turn. Okay. There we go. Now we can go and check up. As you can see, after 360 degree turn, our adjuster is still in position. Okay, it is adjusted properly. I have now locked up the, the lock nut and we're ready to put everything back together and get the car started. And the belt tension is just 100% like it should be. Okay, and uh, we're ready to start that car. And that's basically how you will fit um, your uh, cam belt. Now, just to do the double check, we'll check that the cam. A notch, the notch and the indent is opposite each other. We will check that coming down to the engine. We will check that uh, that the notch and the indent is in line on the crankshaft. Okay, so that would mean uh, that we've got it 100% uh, fitted. And then of course you'll make sure that your pointer, you know, is still lined up on your adjuster. And that is how we will do replace a cam belt and time an engine on a 1.4 shelf utility. Alright, so the engine's running nicely, cam belt's been put on properly, running nice and smoothly.